Now, it all started off fun and games with this Antonov and turn 25. This very exciting plane, of course, exists in real life. It's known as pretty much the biggest plane on this planet, you know, judging by weight and everything. In fact, according to Wingspan, this would be the largest plane on this planet, the Stratolange. And of course, there are memes about it. What's the point of this plane? To hit both towers at the same... No, I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is that this plane is, of course, the largest aircraft on this planet. I mean, it's absolutely huge. Now, someone on the internet had the idea, like a year ago, to turn the Antonov Antron 25 into an Antonov 500, probably making it twice as large, which is an interesting idea. Huh? It is really quite a bit larger now, by direct comparison, right? Yep, this is the Antonov An 500, as you can see down here in the livery, too. Yeah, uh, pretty much all that was done here probably was just doubling the data refs, make everything twice as heavy, make everything twice as large, and I mean, that's just how it works. That could also fly in real life, just like this, obviously. I don't think in real life there would be any limitations on how big an aircraft could ever be, right? I mean, as long as an object fulfills the aerodynamic uh, limitations and everything, or flying, then it should be able to take off, right, and fly. So this flies very well. Now, of course, after the N500 came a follow-up, which I also made a video about, the N700, uh, even bigger. <clears throat> How bad can it be? Well, let me just say it's quite a bit larger, as you can see, 700. Both of these very long wings are longer than the width of this runway. Uh, even the outer engines are hanging over grass. This is, <laughs> we're generally getting into some large territory. I mean, comparing this plane to just a b pretty big-sized airport here. This is Palma de Mallorca. This is pretty not a small airport. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Just the size comparison. This plane is large, right? But we can even get bigger. A few months ago, they came out with a N900, which is sweet of starting to get seriously big. Here we go. Welcome aboard the Antonov N900. This is starting to get ridiculous. I mean, just comparing this to this airport, it's <laughs> absolutely crazy how it just looks on this runway here, which, by the way, is able to take off. But we've got a follow-up uploaded like two days ago. The Antonov N990 Juggernaut. 6,000 ton. <clears throat> Great. How, how, how big can it get? How, how, yeah, 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 this is probably even bigger here. The Antonov N990 is probably the biggest aircraft ever created in the Flight Simulator X plane. Um, great. I mean, <laughs> just compare this to a 747, a large aircraft. Great. All right. Of course, we have that downloaded too. Now, for size references, let's go ahead and spawn this plane into like a small airport. How about that? I think that could be fun. Yeah. This is now our Antonov An 990 compared to a 300 meter long runway. Yes, this aircraft is like 200 meters long in itself. <laughs> yes, actual real planes fly here in real life. And yes, I've been able to land a Concorde here before. This plane probably won't be able to fly that well here. I mean, we can try a takeoff. How about that? Um, this is just absolutely ridiculous. Let's go and take off. Come on, can you do it? Come on, plane. Just give it, give it all you got. It's stuck because this right wing is in, inside of the yeah, yeah, in the mountain. Great. Yeah, this is just absolute realism at its finest. Take off. This is exactly what the flight simulator that was made for, though. I'm pretty sure. Come on, take off. Why does this mountain have to be here? Who built this airport? Not, not compatible with the N990. Come on. I have to get rid of the mountain here. Perfect. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. And uh, yep. For example, down here, we have a real plane and, and real people standing. Look how big this plane is. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, okay, what's the use? I mean, okay, let's go ahead and take off, which hasn't worked. Now, this is a giant boat. I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure there are boats bigger than this plane, though, right? What's the, what's the longest boat? Okay, the longest ship is 400 meters long. While this plane has a wingspan of only 265. So, <clears throat> we've got to make this twice as big to reach that size, but, you know, we're on the way there, apparently. <laughs> Great. All right, but enough fooling around and games and everything. Let's go ahead and try some serious operation. We're at London's Southampton Airport. This is a 1700 meter long runway. Yeah, at this place, you can see 737. It's probably Reiner flies her too, I think. Rest in peace, runway. But this is just how this N990 looks compared to this runway. All the engines are hanging above grass. This is really not a short runway now. And it's not a narrow one either. <laughs> but this is 
this plane here. Great. Good. So, um, let's go ahead and try to take off. Now, according to the developer, this plane can take off and land at regular 10,000 feet long airport. So, let's go ahead and see if that actually works. Okay. All right. Full power. Go ahead and put the flaps down. This is, by the way, the cockpit. Yes. This is actually the real Antonov Anton 125 cockpit. Well, it's not particularly beautiful and realistic, but the real Antonov Anton 125 also uh, is all analog, pretty much. Very old school cockpit. I mean, the Antonov Anton 125 isn't the newest plane either anymore. It's been around for a while. Let's go ahead and take off, by the way. It's, by the way, actually really complicated uh, aircraft to fly. But there we go. We have taken off, and it's just absolutely crazy how this plane looks just taking off from the ground. Just imagine standing here next to your house. I mean, this is not a very beautiful residency here, but look at this plane. Look at it taking off. <laughs> We're, by the way, now at uh, 2,000 feet already. Just look how this plane looks. Also, we are quite fast, 170 knots, but due to the size of this aircraft, this plane looks like it flies at a very low speed. You know what I mean? This is, uh, I think that's what Albert Einstein said. The theory thing. Anyway, this object is so big that it appears to be super slow, but it's actually very fast now. Uh, and I just really like to fly around with it. Now, of course, I would like to try a landing. So let's do that. How are the landing capabilities of this Antonov N-900-990? I was about to say Antonov N-225, but no. N-990. Let's do this. Oh, damn. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, due to this cockpit, of course, being in uh, the upper decks of this aircraft, right? You don't really realize when you'd be touching down. Um, this hasn't gone particularly well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, generally, this cockpit is at least 300 feet high. So, uh, I didn't... I didn't know I was already touching down, but this stopping worked, at least. But, um, so I think we did kind of touch down in grass. Yeah, kind of, we did. And also touched down with a nose. Not particularly good. <laughs> now, of course, there are a few practical things, though, that you can do with an aircraft of this size. For example, you can actually carry around some other aircraft with this one. So, uh, we can carry around the space shuttle, or literally anything here in the flight simulator. Let's maybe try the 747 indeed. <laughs> this is just absolutely ridiculous. I can really tell, this is not particularly that much of a <laughs> small runway here at Southampton. Oh, man, I mean... <laughs> Why would you ever do this? But this is great. This is just great. Let's go ahead and take off. Ooh, we're getting towards the edge. Ah, ah, we've taken off though. Great. Perfect. <laughs> this is just absolute realism with Swiss 001. Now, there would be one genuinely good use for an aircraft like this, and that is putting out wildfire. Of course, this plane can carry around a lot of fire retardant. Yes, the, the red stuff. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's all I know. That, no, that's really just the, the fire retardant that's used to put out wildfires. Of course, normally carried around by C-130s that are relatively small, especially compared to this plane. <laughs> but this plane can carry around like a 6,000 tons of the fire return. So, yeah, let's do that. I mean, we can demonstrate the fire putting out capabilities of this aircraft above London. Let's uh, put out London. Here we go. Wait, so where's the switch? I think it's right here. The jettison switch. There we go. I think that'll do. Yes. There we go. <laughs> We've got fire retardant. Yes, the red stuff. Doesn't look very spectacular here in the flight simulator, but we're putting out London. That's the point. I think the wildfires in California would be put out in like an hour. <laughs> Great. Or, or London would be put out in an hour or two, I think. Great. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, this is the N990. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. <laughs> Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird Deslama, Futuring, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Pyrology.